the news that's as local as local news gets. News 12, Long Island. 531, and this one is a annual fight for a worthy cause. We're talking about the Long Island fight for charity. We're going to head right to Huntington Station where News 12 Long Island's Erin Colton is ready to take it on in the boxing ring. Uh-oh. She sounds like she's having fun. <laughs> talking to a guy who's 50. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Actually, I was I was so busy talking to all the boxers this morning that I didn't I forgot we were going live. Sorry, Andrew Narone from Syosset. Welcome. Andrew is one of uh, the fighters fighting in the fight for charity. It is uh, it's, it's, it's quite a process, right? We're the UFC gym here in Huntington Station, and you see all these fighters behind me. Andrew, uh, I love your story because you came in here for a personal challenge. Well, what was that? I was get back in shape. Yeah. And it was. Uh, Come on, you can you can go. <laughs> I'm, I'm strong enough to hold you. Well. I used to box about 20-something years ago, uh, I guess, no, even more than that, during the okay, Reagan administration. You gotta do better than that, Andrew. Sorry. Okay. Come and, on. Uh, I wanted to get, I wanted to get back into it, and I wanted to do it for a charity. Yeah, the great thing is that all of this money raised goes to Long Islanders in need here on Long Island, and it's amazing that this one night just brings in so much money. And Andrew, how many pounds did you lose? Uh, about 20. Okay. Since the beginning of this whole process. So three months, 20 pounds, you get to do what you love, work right. out, and raise money for Long Islanders who need it. Right. And I, 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 mean, I met a lot of great people. Uh, are you nervous? Not about the fight. Right. Just being in front of 1,500 people and trying not to look silly. It is a little, yeah, <laughs> unnerving. But, I mean, you have to be in the ring and you have to give it your all. And, uh, yeah, I, I want you to give it your all. You're still taking it easy on me. I'm a tough girl, Andrew. All right, Andrew. <laughs> oh, geez. All right, Andrew's going to keep going, and we're going to keep talking to these amazing boxers this morning. And it's all, again, about raising money for Long Islanders who need it. The Long Island Fight for Charity. Go to news12.com for more information and how you can also buy tickets. We're live in Huntington Station this morning. Aaron Colton, come on! <laughs> Erin <laughs> is a lot of fun to train in the gym with. It's that time again when the gloves go on and the punches are thrown, but for a good cause. That's right. Long Island's Fight for Charity is back for another year. And News 12 Long Island's Erin Colton is already in the ring in Huntington Station. Go, girl. Well, we're not in the ring just yet. We're kind of just like working on these bags here. Um, if you want to know where everyone is at 6 o'clock in the morning, they're inside a UFC gym here in Huntington Station. Come over here and meet Jamie O'Mara from Huntington. Jamie's been training to uh, fight the Long Island fight for charity. She is all set and ready to go. Um, you know, you're talking to me about all the things you do to prepare. It's a lot of work, Jamie. Yes, a lot of work. W what does it entail? A lot of training, cardio, weights, you know, boxing. And every skills. day. This is not every like day. you can just take a day off. No, no. The best thing about this is you can get in shape and you can work out and you can do what you love. You can achieve something, a goal, but you're also raising a lot of money for the people. Correct. What do you, what do, where does the money go to? Uh, the Long Island Community Chest and the Genesis School for Autistic Children. I mean, just, uh, you know, we got the speed bag going, we got people jumping rope. The, these are everyday Long Islanders who are just being trained to get in the ring and fight. Did you ever think that you would do this type of thing? No. <laughs> I'm very happy that I did, though, because I feel that if I'm able to do it physically and help people who aren't, there's nothing better than that. Are you nervous? A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. 1,500 people staring at you in the yeah. ring while you fight another woman? Absolutely. Oh, uh, piece of cake, Jamie. If you would like to contribute to the Long Island County or buy tickets, I hear they're almost sold out. Just go to news12.com. We have the link for you. I, I, I am I'm a hand speaker. I always talk with my hands. This is amazing, talking with your hands with these gloves on. It's just like, what's going on? All right, go to news12.com for more information, guys. All right, and thanks that's so much, hard, you know. Oh, yeah. And talking while boxing is very hard. Just boxing itself is hard, but <laughs> talking while boxing. And it is time to put the gloves on for a good cause. That's right. Long Island Fight for Charity. It's back for another year. News 12 Long Island's Aaron Colton Hi. is at the boxing ring now yeah. in the ring in Huntington yeah, Station. Aaron. Jeff Russell. Hey, guys. Um, oh, Jeff I'm, I'm trying to uh, listen to you and then follow Jeff directions. Jeb Cross. All right, Jeb Cross. Jeb Cross. Jeb Cross. Jeb Cross. Yeah. We are previewing the Jet uh, the Long Island Fight for Charity. All right, let's do 10 now. Ready? Yeah. All right. One, two, 
All right, how about that? All right, I'm Nicole Burns, one of the founders of the Long Island Fight for Charity. Oh, that does not deserve a, cl uh, a clap, especially since the amount of breath to go to that. Oh, this is interesting. Thank you, Jeff Cohen. You're welcome. Talking to the founders of the Long Island Fight for Charity, uh, working so hard for an organization that benefits so many people. I, I think in this room, the amount of pounds that people have lost from working out, Matt Silver, talk to me about the health benefits for the competitors. Well, we not only save lives for people out there in the Long Island community, but we save lives of our fellow boxers. We've had over 150 boxers that have shed over a thousand pounds. Incredible. It's just amazing. And I mean, the charities that this work, the, the, this, this night benefits, it's, it, it go, just goes so far on Long Island, which is important. Good morning. Yeah, the Long Island Fight for Charity has actually benefited over 20 charities here on the island, but our staple charities are uh, the Genesis School, which uh, helps individuals who are diagnosed with autism from birth until the time they're not on God's good earth. The Long Island, the, I'm sorry, uh, family residences yeah. and essential enterprises, uh, which provides the life requirements for individuals with special needs, and the Long Island Community Chest, which helps Long Islanders uh, who have a life-altering happening in their life uh, and need to get back on track. And again, all the money just stays on Long Island, which is the most important thing. Come over here and talk to Jamie Austin. I, you were throwing out numbers before, and it's incredible hearing how much money you guys can raise. Well, with this year, we will break the $1 million mark. Incredible. It's amazing. And this all goes to people on Long Island. And the most important thing, if you would like to buy tickets it's almost sold out of here or just donate just go to news12.com their website's linked to ours is this like that not the most awkward thing you've ever seen me do in my entire life i'm going to hand this back over to jeff cohen thank there you, you so much and uh, lorette where are you i need one more session let's go let's do this come on ready all right crush it colton crush it colton get me get fierce get mad show me what you made of come on come on I gotta tell you, you don't want to run into that girl <laughs> in an alley, well, unless you're walking alongside her. In. You want her on, on your, your side, side in a fight. All right, from the gridiron to the ring, a fight for charity right here on Long Island. Yep, and the training is underway. News 12 Long Island's Erin Colton lacing up the gloves in Huntington Station this morning. How's it going, Erin? Uh, good morning. I was actually just turning my microphone Whoa. on because I'm so intense in this gym right now. I got my pink uh, tie-up gloves kind of going on. Uh, and it's so active here. We're talking about the Long Island Fight for Charity, which is next Monday night, the 23rd. We're in UFC Gym Huntington Station. And uh, there's a couple of doctors fighting this year, which is pretty incredible. We've got Dr. B over here, John Baccio. Hello, good a morning. A practitioner doctor. Family practice. Oh, wow. Yep. And, um, and, and what is it like for you to, the, over the last couple of months, training for Honestly, this Honestly, I started training the day after Mother's Day. I'm a ringside physician. I've been with these guys 11 years. Wow. And now I talk to Jeff. Jeff's like, why don't you get in the ring this so time? You're on the other side this and time. And it's a totally different experience. I have, I have a great cause to help Long Islanders, and it's also helping me. I lost about 20 pounds, 25 pounds doing this. These people are amazing. These two yes. women. We got Jamie and Susan sparring over here. Yep. The entire gym has been filled all morning long. There's so much that goes in to training for this. And I just want to come this over. I want to get you with the trainer right now. Dr. Okay. B, you go with the trainer. Ron. Ron, come over That's here. Ron's a chiropractor. Uh, and you're the other doctor in uh, going to be in the ring. Uh, are, are you nervous at all? No. You're ready to go. I love this stuff. You love it. How, what's the training been like for you? Discipline. Exhaustion, as I hear in your <laughs> Yeah, sure. But, uh, it's a new, newfound respect for Absolutely. people that do this. I can't believe the amount of physical demand is and the, uh, the time involved with this. And what about raising all this money? Well, That's got to feel good, too. I've been raising money for many years. Over the, over the practice of my the practice, I've done probably half a billion yeah. dollars. Wow, well, so this is not your force, Rodeo. No, 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 no. I've done... Uh, with the Possible Pediatric Center, American um, Cancer Society, and most important for me, Kathy Mazza Foundation. She was killed in 9 11. She was uh, a Unbelievable. So we raised a lot of money for that. Good luck to you. I mean, all right, I gotta get I gotta get John back over here. John, you're looking good. You're looking tough. But you have to not Sorry. be tough for one second. How, why is that? Because it's a very special yeah. day. Oh, uh, it's my daughter's birthday. Happy birthday, Ashley. Ashley, happy 15th Thank birthday. Thank you. Uh, Jim Huntington Station, you guys awesome. have been such a great host and all of the fighters over the last couple months, so thanks so much. If you want tickets, go to
to news12.com. I'm okay, right? In the ring a little bit? Yeah, My pink pretty good. All right. Go to news12.com and click on numbers and links. You can buy tickets to the fight. It's almost sold out, or you can just give to the charity. And again, all of this money stays on Long Island and helps people in need. We're here in Huntington Station at UFC Gym. Aaron Colton, News 12 Long Island. Guys? All right. Don't get your get hit. Right, especially by Aaron. Yep. In just over a week, the fight bell will ring at a boxing event for a good cause. Participants are training hard. News 12 Long Island's Eric Colton breaking a sweat at the UFC gym in Huntington Station. Aaron. All right, right now I'm sparring with Rick Iacarino from Dick Sales. Did I get that right? Yes, All right, come on. perfect. All right, he is one of the competitors in the Long Island Fight for Charity. You see that? That's, that's my own move. That's like a, a side swap. <laughs> Those are allowed. Really? No. Side swap. Oh, that's not even allowed? Oh, my goodness. The Long Island Fight for Charity raises so much money for Long Island, char uh, Long Island people in need. More than $250,000 will be raised next Monday night when these guys get in the ring. Rick's one of them. Rick, what is it going to feel like when you step inside that ring? It's going to feel great. We've been all working very hard to get to this moment. It's all about the charities, and I'm just looking forward to a great night. I mean, you're not a fighter. I mean, you're an attorney. You're a Long Island attorney. Well, I am a Puerto Rican Italian from Brooklyn, <laughs> so fighting has been part of my okay, life. Okay, so that helps out a bit. Yes. All of these guys, though, it's just Long Island professionals oh. learning how to fight and getting in the ring next Monday night. Yep, and a great, great bunch of people. Wow. Uh, a wonderful side effect to uh, having done this really great. All right, to be a fighter, you have to raise $5,000. So that's what you, you got to do. Rick, I want you to tell Long Island how much money you raised. I have to say I broke Sal Ferro's of Home and Law Improvement's record of 85000 by raising over 100000 That is incredible. This man alone raised $110,000 for him to fight on Monday night. And what does he get out of it? Maybe a black eye? Uh, hopefully not. And helping all of the Long Island people who need help. All right, I'm going to show everyone what I learned a little bit. Rick, ready? So? Come on, Aaron. One, two, three, again. One, two, three, again. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hi -ya! Jim Huntington uh, Station. One, two, three. Long Island, Long Island State for Charity. Charity. We're, We're in Huntington guys. Station today. Aaron Colton, News 12 Long Island. Yes. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Terrific workout. Uh.